What's going on everybody? It's Jay Myrax and I'm back with another video. And this video is actually the video I said I would do concerning how I'm tracking out beats from machine into logic. So before I even get started, I want to let you guys know one of my dudes on YouTube, Atlanta Logic Trainer is his username. He actually posted a video response to my integrating machine with logic tutorial and in his video response he lays out very clearly with screen capture how to track out beats using the integrating machine logic method that I showed you last year so um, I would like for you guys to check that out because that explains any particular issues that you may come up with against when you're actually using that template. So that being said, let's get into what I'm doing now. Okay, so let me start off by giving you some notes about this particular session that I have open. So in my logic session here, I have one instance of machine. And the type of instance of machine I have is actually the machine stereo version. Some people tend to use the multi output versions of machine, which is fine if you want to be able to route individual sounds to auxiliaries inside of logic. But in the method that I use, I don't need to do that because I like to be able to bounce things directly to audio and I'll show you why later on in the video. So, more notes about this session. I have one kit loaded right now and it's just loaded into group A. So in order for me to be able to get MIDI notes into Logic and Trigger Machine, I have to do one very crucial thing, which is to control click on group A and then select sound MIDI batch setup. And in sound MIDI batch setup, I'm going to select sounds to MIDI notes. And for each drum kit or each group that I have in machine, I need to select a unique MIDI channel. So group A is going to get MIDI channel one. If I had a kit loaded in group B, it would get MIDI channel two. And for group C, I would assign it to MIDI channel three and so forth. So I have to assign each group a unique MIDI channel so that the sounds can stay separated. So once I select all these parameters, I'm going to select apply. And now we are ready to start controlling machine using a MIDI controller. So now that my sound MIDI batch setup is complete, I'm going to hold down shift and control on the machine controller and that puts me in the MIDI control mode. So then I'll hold shift and press the uh, right arrow key until I see massive, which is template three for most of the machine controllers. Uh, Maybe a little bit different for machine micro, but generally you can use any control mode that is um, controlling like a, a synth or some type of keyboard instrument. So now that I have the massive template selected, I'm going to select group E. And now I should be able to control machine. So now we're ready to get into how I'm tracking out stuff using this. So as you can see in my session, I already have a MIDI region with MIDI information already laid down or recorded. And this is just for the sake of time, but I'll play the groove for you. It's just a very simple drum groove. Okay, very simple drum groove. So what I do to begin with when I want to track out my drums or anything that I've laid from machine into logic is I go to the MIDI region 
and I hold down control and click and then in logic I select the MIDI option down here and I select the option that says separate by note pitch so now let's take a look at the arrange screen here and in the arrange view you'll see that I have separate MIDI channels now or separate um, tracks inside of Logic and each track represents a sound from machine so if I put each track into solo mode and play it you'll notice that's the kick so what I'll do is label this the kick and I'll go to the next track the next track is the snare so I'll label the snare the next track is the hi-hat next track is the toms and I know that the last track is a crash symbol so I have everything labeled now because it's all separate on its own ch its own track inside of Logic so now when I want to track out something what I do is I will first make sure that all my regions are named this is a very important step so I select all my regions and then I control click and select name regions by tracks and now each of these regions has its own name and now additionally what I'll do is for each track so for example the kick here I will control click on the MIDI region and select bounce in place and the bounce in place window comes up I usually use all the default settings here but I will turn normalize off because I don't want it to normalize at all and then select OK and what that's going to do is just do a pass of bouncing on that particular MIDI region so now what you should hear if I solo this new region is my kick tracked out so I can do this again for the snare. We'll do it for the snare. Control click. We're going to bounce in place. We're going to use all the same settings. Select OK. And now I should have the snare. So now I have snare and audio. So for me, using this method allows me to quickly convert MIDI regions into audio without having to do a real time pass. That's one of the advantages that I see in using this method versus the other method that I was using last year. There are some disadvantages to this method as well. So one of the disadvantages that I found to this method is that if I want to use any of the machine specific functions like 16 levels or note repeat or things that are controlled from the MIDI controller when when you're using machine I cannot use that because the MIDI control mode does not send 16 levels and note repeat so that's one of the things to keep in mind and as I told you guys before this is just one method of integrating machine with logic there's another method that you can use that would allow you to use note repeat and 16 levels but one of the caveats of that is that you have to then use drag and drop MIDI instead of programming directly into Logic so there's a lot of different ways like I said this is just one way but hopefully this makes things more clear as to how I'm using it this is how I'm tracking out my beats um, when I want to just program directly into Logic so um, if you have any questions about what I've shown you in this video, feel free to um, just send me a message and I'll try to get back to you. Also, I will put a template up that just has the basic setup for this workflow method and I'll put it on my site so that you guys can download it and use it if this one works better for you. Um, anyhow, that's it. Until next time, peace, God bless.